Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Janelle Brown of Sister Wives reveals Savannah's future residence. Janelle Brown, the star of Sister Wives, has been traveling a lot after the death of Garrison Brown. She seems to be prioritizing travel in order to make the most of the day. Her children are immediately impacted by the changes in her lifestyle, though. She was close to Cody Brown in the beginning and offered him lots of chances to interact with Savannah Brown, her youngest child who was still living at home. However, Savannah is now an adult and makes her own decisions about where to reside. Notably, Cody and Janelle Brown, stars of Sister Wives, have six children together. Janelle has been traveling ever since their son Garrison Brown passed away. She frequently travels for Plexus events on behalf of her company, but occasionally she takes a cross-country trip to be with one of her children. Additionally, occasionally both coincide. She has worked on Maddie Brown Brush and her family's health business and spent precious time with them. Earlier this year, they also worked together to plant a garden. However, Janelle has also made the trip to Arkansas to see the eclipse with Michelle Petty and Logan Brown. In addition, she had the opportunity to catch up with her sons during the Plexus Conference in Las Vegas. However, she has made multiple trips back to Flagstaff to visit Gabriel and Savannah Brown. Savannah has also gone on a number of the trips with her and has been a wonderful traveling companion. They even managed to fit in a family reunion and a trip to Disney. Janelle, though, is now discussing Savannah's chosen place of residence. Janelle Brown shared a photo of herself traveling across the nation once more on her Instagram page. However, she discloses that Savannah Brown is on the move this time. To deliver Savannah's possessions to East Carolina University, ECU, in Greenville, North Carolina, Janelle says she is traveling across the country on foot. She had made up her mind to attend ECU for college. Savannah's proximity to her sister Maddie Brush and her family seems to be the ideal choice. It has also come to light that Janelle has acquired land in North Carolina. Besides, Maddie is four hours away from Michael T. Brown and Tony Padron's new location. Additionally, Janelle Brown discusses appreciating the trip on her Instagram. As she gathers Savannah's belongings, she talks of discovering happiness on her travels. She acknowledges that she didn't make many long drives prior to this year. However, she has been back and forth across the U.S. six or seven times already this year. She is also discovering how much she enjoys going on these experiences. She has discovered her favorite ways to travel and has even identified several must-stop locations. She also muses, It's surprising to find that I kind of like this cross-country drive. In Tucumcari, New Mexico, there was one honorable mention. I'm grateful to the incredible chef at the Best Western Discovery in Intucumcari, New Mexico, for making the best green chili sauce I've had in a while, she says. Hatch chilies are familiar to anybody familiar with New Mexico. These are my all-time favorite green chilies. The small town of Conway, Arkansas, where I spent my eclipse stay last spring because it was close to Michelle's dad's house, was the scene last night. And NC tomorrow. She heeded the advice to get a coffee mug of green chili sauce for lunch while she was eating breakfast, and she really enjoyed it. Is Cody Brown's greatest dream of Sister Wives coming true? Cody Brown, star of Sister Wives, has taken a different stand on life and family in the last few years. Despite his support for several marriages, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown's partnership ended in divorce. Nonetheless, Robin Brown and he remain married. Is Cody Brown's greatest ambition coming true? If he achieves what it appears he wants, will he be content? There's no denying that Sister Wives' last two seasons have been depressing. For example, Christine Brown sensed that the passion in her relationship with Cody Brown was waning. Moreover, she eventually left the multiple family, which caused Cody to re-evaluate his whole existence. Then, with the family split up by COVID-19, he often just wanted to fly away and avoid them all. Undoubtedly, a large family like the Browns will occasionally have drama that leads to even more drama while they are dealing with difficulties. But more than ever, Cody was longing for calm. 
Robin was the only remaining wife in Cody's marriage at the conclusion of season 18. But Mary, Janelle, and Christine's shared children with Cody will bind them together, forever. Nevertheless, the Browns are about to undergo transformation. Did Cody's greatest aspirations come true because of the spouse's departures? Many people think that Cody Brown merely desired a monogamous lifestyle. Fans of Sister Wives talk about Cody getting what he wants on Reddit. A person posts, Cody's dream is coming true, first. The user continues, saying, Janelle announced on Instagram that she had relocated Savannah to Greenville, North Carolina, in order to attend ECU. The original family will no longer be residing in Flagstaff anytime soon. Robin and Cody can now act as though the original family never existed. How can this family stay together when they are so dispersed? Unquestionably, the kids appear to be following suit as each mother has extended her wings. The number of Browns who remain close to Cody is decreasing. Once you move to NC, you don't leave. NC native and ECU graduate, quips a different user. Another person says, this had to be a huge blow to his ego and Robin's, it seems like he is insufficient as a husband, father, mentor, or anything else. It must hurt for them to just pick him up and walk away. And I adore everything about it for him enjoy yourself, Cody. It's known as karma. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it, is a lesson Cody Brown is learning. Cody didn't quite realize that when he demanded his way, or the highway, it may make him feel more alone than at ease. Several other admirers commented on Cody receiving what he desired after the original post. You can call me biased, but I believe that Cody's cosmic karma is coming to get him. Along with Robin, her two tenders, and her three children, he is in Flagstaff. Gwen is the only other child in the area. He and Gwen don't get along. Compared to his favorite alpha kids, Hunter, Logan, and son-in-law Caleb, who are strong, testosterone-filled guys who battle and wrangle, Solomon is a wimp. Ariella Dayton Aurora is quite the tyrant since Brianna is unlikely to launch, they are a drain on his time with Robin and his money. He resides in a hoarding episode and owns a piece of land afflicted with the prairie disease. Is Gabe still a resident of Flagstaff? Looks like Gabe might have moved to Vegas on Janelle's Instagram, responds someone else. The core group has always consisted of Janelle, Christine, and their children. Mary and Sobin were a separate small pod. Cody Brown seemed to like having less obligations. He was tired and just wanted to live simply with his favorite wife. If Robin and Cody's friendship is strong enough to endure a life without somebody to vent fury toward, only time will tell. With Cody, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown's breakup, some fans are unsure about the show's future. How is the show able to continue without the core group's interaction? Will the show consist of distinct couch interviews and scenes? Aside from the disputes and divorces, we've been doing that for years, and it's boring. Though it doesn't appear too captivating, I suppose Robin will continue to cry, I could watch that face with tears of joy.